try. Let me try. You guys don't move. <laughs> and I'll, I'll explain why in a second. Let me see that it works. <coughs> yeah. I go backwards and backwards and backwards it still it still is is right where it was if I go back it's right over there <laughs> you can see anything <laughs> all right and still if I go back there the stuff is still where I started it now how does it work <laughs> what it is, it creates, creates a 3D mesh, 3D world, but it creates it on the, on the virtual world. So when I, when I as a game designer designs the, when I design the game, I actually design the same thing, either it with a real world or with virtual world. For me it's the same. Um, let me just start again. I'll, I'll show you this an again uh, another time. <coughs> so you could have a question. The thing is, everything that was just uh, being talked with uh, the guy from South Kinetic, uh, actually I'm from, uh, where is he? Is he, is he here? Is he still here? Uh, I'm from Omic Interactive in the past. Um, <laughs> So we actually know each other, these two companies. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually pretty excited to be here because it's like the, the, the organizer was a supervisor in my, when I was in college. Um, and it's a few years that I've been trying to get here, but it's, it's a pretty long flight, probably. It took me five years to get here. So, <laughs> so I'm very happy um, to return to the community that, that I learned from uh, a long time ago. Um, uh, so, and today, as 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 you as you as uh, uh, you you heard, I'm I'm a game designer and and UX uh, senior in in Intel. We have my our game studio is actually uh, we have ten people. We are in charge of creating demos in that quality to 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 ex to to make sure that the hardware that you eventually buy, so there's there's going to be a good excuse for that. Um, we are in charge for the user side. We are in charge to see that the app and the hardware that Intel produces and, and makes, they have a, a good, good use case and good usages, um, an interesting one. So this time, in this, this type of game, our goals were to think about the, the, the kids, how they play. We, when you go and, and ask a young, when you give him these toys and ask him to play, so. One guy, one guy could do this and imagine that it's Iron Man or a plane or anything else or Star Wars and you start shooting and you start doing this. And we wanted, we wanted that to stay as it is. We wanted, we wanted this experience of this imagination to stay as it is and, and to enhance that, to, to add to it. And this, this is what brought us to the idea that it has to be some kind of an open world game, an open world environment so that kids could 
could explore, could do stuff um, with the things that they have. It can work on anything, and I'll show you again. And, um, and, the, th and the second thing we, we wanted is how can we make something that would be more fun than just playing with a toy? Because just, just doing this is really fun. I don't know since when you did that, but it's really fun. Do it. <laughs> uh, and and, and this, this whole thing of, you know, to fly, and this is really, really fun. So most of us forgot about this, just, just this, this on, only that there is. So what we thought, maybe we do three toys in one or, or more toys in the same app and each have its own uniqueness. The robot can shoot, the, ch the plane can, can fly, the chopper can fly. The so this brought us to that idea. Um, there's also a lot of missions inside. I'll, I'll let you play with it. Like we have, we have it. We can, you can play with it tomorrow in the booth and, and the day after. But uh, there's many missions. Um, how does it build? How does it work? Very similar to what, to what my the 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 one from Soft Kinetic showed you. Um, there's a the 3D data, the 3D um, uh, the 3D data from the sensor that Intel has placed in, inside this tablet that I was playing in um, creates, creates a virtual, virtual planes, virtual mesh out of everything. And everything it sees start, becomes, like a, becomes like a floor. And if it's, if it's high, if it's low, if it's, if it's a bridge, if it's a, it's a gap, or if it's a hole in the floor, the, the, the camera would see it. So this is called mesh, mesh reconstruction. Um, oops, sorry. So what it, what it actually do is like it takes the world, scans it, and then creates something that is like the shape of the of the environment. It can work on any environment. It doesn't doesn't need a specific type of environment. It doesn't need a marker. It doesn't need a type of floor, a type of carpet. There are limitations. For example, the black the black color is a little bit problematic today, but but it, it's something that we are, try, we are trying, and I think that we will overcome in the future. Um, the second thing is that we, tr we keep tracking of this environment. If, if I moved to one position and then came back, the things that were there in the first place, they stayed there. So for example, um, if, the, if the coin's over here, and then I go go back with a the robot, they stay, the same, they stay in the same place. They don't move to somewhere <coughs> else. Um, so, and, and the third thing is that you saw the, when I shoot, when I shoot with my robot, the, the, it glued on, on, on the surface. It, it took the surface, um, um, the surface uh, shape. Um, and another thing is the occlusion as, as uh, also as we talked about, the, 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 the objects, the virtual objects, are, can be occluded and hide behind real objects, which is something that a lot, a lot of people are trying to do. This is, this is something that is really complex in the RGB-based um, um, uh, world of augmented. And, and for, for now, because we have the 3D sensing of the depth, we can do it really easily and actually kind of for free. This is given for free. Um, so you can play in the sink, you can play in anything else in the world, and, and the world is actually just another playground, and, it, and it's, it's the same as it was straight, flat, or, or curved. It doesn't matter for us. Um, so yeah, so I also added some, some missions I didn't show you. There's zombies, you can shoot, of course there's zombies, it's a game. There's zombies you can shoot and explode. And there is uh, hoops that you can go through, and there's many, many types of, of ideas. You're you're welcome to to come and, and try. Um, and I there's there's a lot more people here uh, on stage with me, the studio, and the and I wanted to show it to you again just to to show that it's not some kind of a trick. So maybe just move some stuff over there, and I'll just. I just some stuff, yeah. So just, just for you to understand that it's not some kind of a thing that I prepared. And also, if you have questions during the time that I'm, I'm showing this again, so please. And then I'll just show it while I'm talking.
So is this something that you sell or share uh, for commercial use? This, this is, yeah, this is an SDK. Um, there is an SDK that Intel makes. With, uh, I think it's about it's a, it should go and be released in like sometime at the end of this year. I'm not sure. Um, this is this is this works with a camera over there. And it's, yeah. it's built in the side, but uh, <laughs> we have a, we have a few points. <laughs> uh, so the yeah, and, and, and it's just a, it's just a matter of like getting the sensor or getting a, 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 a tablet with that sensor inside, and, and that's it. It would work. Oh, let me show you some missions. So it's not a, an app or a software that you can download on the tablet. You have to buy the tablet with. Uh, the yeah, I think so. Hardware? I think so because that's the whole the whole excuse. Uh, but uh, but again, there there are many many apps and more apps that we are working on. Um, so hopefully you would have enough excuses. But um, but yeah. So if the environment itself is changing rapidly. Can you cope with that? Yeah, that's that's a that's a good one. This is why I asked them to be freeze to freeze. The only thing that we are not capable of doing right now is that if you move the like move. Let let me let me show you. Yeah. Yeah, move move that away, and then I I don't really know that she moved it. So, for example, so I would actually have some kind of of a flaw over there. Oh, yeah, it fixed. So you see, you see that it actually did cope with that now, but it's not prepared to do that. No, it's really awesome that it actually worked better <laughs> on show than it's really awesome. So, so this is. Yeah, I, I mean it wasn't. What it, did, it shouldn't. It actually should. It's not. It's not forced like to. It, it, it does that, but we don't know when. So it actually continues to improve the environment as you go and. So it seems like there was a lot of jitter. And yes. Is that because the hardware is not powerful? No, no, no. It's actually this is the only flaw. The, the second flaw is the the floor. <laughs> the floor is the. It's too. It's too patterny. So I don't really know where the, for example, if I took all the toys out and I tried it, it didn't work. Why? Because the, word, the, the floor is patterny and we have a black stuff here. So I, I couldn't really track anything. But since I have toys and stuff on the floor and people, so I could create, we could create a mesh and then track it. Like this is over here. When I go and back, it's still here because I know where I went. Oh, it also works with, um, it tracks the motion of the tablet, so when when I move the 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 the, the machine, it actually knows how did it move. So this is how we we update the picture, the the the, the, the world. Yes. So uh, for the application of gaming now, I mean, you know, you can you can demo that, and we all think, yeah, it's really cool. And but this, um, if you actually give it to kids, how long do they actually care that it's AR? And uh, doesn't it they don't. kind of the same? They don't. I, I don't. I don't want them to. AR gaming over, you know. This like and this is not. Is for me. For me, when when I look at it, it's the same because this is a toy and this is a toy. If the kid would want to play with this, I don't see any any bad side of it. This is this is actually even better because this is this is real, and this it has an advance of you know addition to because it's virtual. It's fun. It's more blows and. So, it so has the, add some the fun added parts. Of AR for gaming? The value is is that you can add virtual objects to to stuff, and you can add, for example, that no, this no, teddy bear. I mean, for the customer, meaning the kid. Like yeah, I mean, it can add helmet. It can add the the gun. It can add more stuff to this and make it better. It's or like you can always make, <laughs> if I if I if I throw it over there, so it can make a trail of lights under the like. Yeah, so it, it enhances the way I interact with the toy. Which kind of right? Yeah. <laughs> Iron Man. Yeah. Um, it, it, it just enhances the thing that I, I do already. So if, if, I, if I do something with this, I want it to enhance that, not create something else. For example, just have a toy over here, just take the barcode, and then just add, add the teddy bear, virtual teddy bear in the top. I don't want that. I want them to play with this. So yeah.
All right. Thank you very much. Check out.